वेलकम टू सेंटर फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन उत्तर प्रदेश अशन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी रिसर्च एप्टीट्यूड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन रिसर्च मैथलॉजी बिकॉज इट टेल्स अ रिसर्चर दैट वॉट ही इज गोइंग टू डू इन इज रिसर्च वर्क देर आर सर्टन क्वेश्चन विच आर रिसर्चर यूज टू आस्क बाय हिमसेल्फ एंड बाय द रिस्पॉन्डेंट so his aptitude is all what he is going to deliver in his final thesis and dissertation so if the researcher's aptitude towards his research work is very much clear his work is going to be very fruitful for the society as a whole so let's understand that what is research aptitude research aptitude is an attitude of inquiry search investigation a scientific and objective efforts made to uncover facts hence requires the application of scientific methods means research aptitude is all about the attitude inquiry search which a researcher used to do for his scientific research the way the pathway he is going on which he is going to get his final result so research attitude is very important for a researcher he must have a positive connections about his research work he should think about the different dimensions he should think about the different questions why he is conducting a research how he is going to conduct the research when his research work is going to complete why he is conducting the research work on the specific topic so whenever he is going to get the answers of all this question he is in a condition to write his thesis now what is research research according to presswell is a procedure of procedures used to obtain and analyze information to expand our understanding of a certain topic or a situation means that what is the situation what is the topic and how you are going to get the procedure of the procedures about that specific topic and make it clear to the audience the people who are directly or indirectly related to that research work then characteristics of research the first one is reliability consistency is what reliability means in terms of research it makes reference to how predictable the result of an examination are means here it must be known that a researcher should have a consistent approach towards his work because if he is consistent towards his work his reliability as work is being more reliable accuracy it is unmistakable link to legitimacy it also refers to how closely study techniques tools and equipments are related to one and other means accuracy is also important in the research work if the data is reliable automatically you are going to analyze it so the accuracy of the reliability the accuracy of statistical tools is also being counted over there the more accurate the result the best outcome you are going to get objectivity objectivity is the quality of conducting research without bias typically scientists steer clear of the possibility that their own characters behavior and attitude might not have an impact on the result to prevent bias they critically evaluate the research methodology means the objectivity of the research should be very clear the researcher should not adopt any of the bias attitude he must know that the possible outcome should not be affected by his own attitude or behavior the result which is being there should be mentioned as it is it must have a transparent approach he should not put his attitude towards writing the final report credibility credibility is achieved by using the greatest data source and investigational methodologies using optional information reduce cost and save time the credibility of the work is depends upon the time which has been taking the data the time at which data has been collected and the analysis has been made so when your data is up to date up to the time automatically the credibility of your work increases so these are the four characteristics which a researcher should 
adopt while conducting this research work. The first one is reliability, second is accuracy, third is objectivity, and fourth is credibility. Now, objectives of research. For a research aptitude, for a focused research, you must follow these objectives. Look into the current issues or conditions. A researcher should always go with the research of the present scenario. Because what you are going to do today is going to be fruitful for the future. So, he should have to go into the current issues and conditions and have to work on that. Create or create a new framework or method. The first thing which a researcher can do is to create something new, something innovative or create a new framework. He can also give a new framework for the old work or he can create a new methods of certain process. So here he can give a absolute new methodology, new innovations or he can create a new framework of an old methods or he can create an absolutely new method. Make fresh discoveries. For example, he can create, he can develop certain, certain new things. So, these are very important for research. Investigate and examine broader topics. The objectivity of the research should not be refined to certain confined objectives. It should have a broader approach, an approach which is very helpful to the society as a whole. So, whenever a researcher is going to conduct a research, he should have a broader framework about the topic. Provide an answer to a question means whenever a researcher is conducting a research, he must have an aptitude that there is a question and he is answering to that specific questions. What are the questions when he has started the research work? Why he is conducting a research on that specific topic? What has prov provoked him to conduct the research on that specific topic? So, on that question, he is going to get the answers. So, the answer should be in accordance with the questions which he is asking. Then, evaluate and combine the knowledge already in existence. Means he has to take the data from the different sources. He has done the review of literature. So, some of the data, some of the knowledge are there in the past, some are there in the present. So he has to combine everything and give a new framework or create a new model or create a something new. So he has to combine all the knowledge and has to present it in his final report. Now research ethics. Ethics as I have told you is all about what a researcher should follow from the first day when he starts his work. I have told you that it is being written in Guru Granth Sahib that Mayajita Jagajita means if you are conquer yourself, you are able to conquer the whole world. Same way, when a, research at, when a researcher used to adopt a very transparent approach towards his work, his work is very much acceptable to the society and it is meant for the welfare of the society as a whole. And this is what ethics is all about. It's all about saying that decisions about right and wrong what is right and what is wrong. It is all about a researcher used to do about the true and false, good or bad. So he has to make the decisions. What are the things he is going to take in his research work? And what are the things he has to keep away from his research work? Because mentioning everything is not good for the society as a whole. So ethics is there. He should give the name to all the people who he has taken help. In references, in bibliography, he has to mention all the citations which he has taken from. So, research ethics is very important. In the next is research methodology. For a research, a researcher must have a proper aptitude and he must have a clear path about what methodology he is going to adopt for his research work. The methods you are going to adopt in your research work is all about the research design. 
whether your research depends upon the primary data or whether your research depends upon the secondary data. What are the statistical tools you are going to apply in analysis? Whether you are going to take the help of questionnaire, schedule or interview. You can also take the help of secondary data. But whenever you are going to use the secondary data, you must give it the proper source because research ethics always says that you have to give the credibility to the person who has done that work. So sources should be mentioned at a right place. This is all about research ethics. So research design should be properly framed. What are the sample size? How you are going to collect the sample? What are the sampling techniques? And after collection of data, how you are going to analyze the data, what are the statistical tools, whether you are going to frame a hypothesis or not, what and how you are going to test the hypothesis. This should be properly mentioned in your research design. Then types of research. There are many types of researchers, but broadly there are four types of research which is being found in social or managerial studies. The first is theoretical research. When a researcher used to adopt this method of theoretical research, he goes with the theories, different theories. He goes through all the theories, collects all the knowledge from different theories and interpret it by his own words that what he can create something new framework or new models about that specific theory. So whenever a researcher used to do uh, work on a theoretical matter, it is known as theoretical research. Then comes the experimental research where the case studies is being counted, where experiments in the lab is being there, whether you are working with the behavioral aspect of the people respondents and on the data you are going to get certain output. So whenever you are going to conduct certain things on a specific fixed conditions, temperatures, you are going to say it's an experimental research because first you are creating a model and on that specific model you are testing the certain things. So it is known as experimental research, mainly confined to the scientific study. Then you have got descriptive research. As I have told you in theoretical research, you are going with the theories. You are mentioning everything in theory matter. Now in descriptive research, you have to describe each and every single topic you are considering for your research. It is more about the description. It defines the way. For example, if you are going from Uttar Pradesh to Rajasthan, if you are conducting a res descriptive research, you are going to define each and everything. You have to dis dis define that from which transport medium you are going to do, uh, travel from Uttar Pradesh to Rajasthan, what are the roads, if you are taking the road transport, where you have stopped, how much time it has taken, everything. What is the weather, what is the temperature, everything you have to describe. Here the use of data is very less. And the last one is structured research. In the structured research, a researcher used to have a set model, set framework. And according to that framework, he is going to conduct his research work. He has certain assumptions and on that assumptions, he is going to conduct his research work. So these are the four types of research which is being generally conducted in the research methodology. Now, this is presentation writing. As I have told you, the aptitude of the research is all about how you are going to start your research and how you are going to conclude it. Because it's your aptitude which has bring you to the last stage of writing of a thesis. If your aptitude towards research is very clear, very positive, and it is somewhat transparent, your thesis or dissertation writing is up to the mark. So a thesis is a thorough understanding of the study subject. Another name for it is a dissertation. Writing a thesis is the final and most important step of research study. 
so when a researcher has a clear aptitude about each and every step i have told you that what is research then what is the characteristics of research what is the objectivity of research and how you are going to do your research work that is research design so when a researcher has got a clear aptitude of all these things about his topic in which topic is going to conduct his research what are the parameters on which he is going to work what is the research design he is going to frame what type of research study he has got so automatically his thesis writing is very easy he can present each and everything in a proper format from the table of content where he is going to chapterize each and every chapter with page number to the last annexer and appendices his work will be very much clear his analysis portion is clear because whatever charts tables he is used going to use in his research work should be properly numbered so it it is a duty of a researcher that his aptitude towards research is very clear now application of ict in research as i have told you in the present scenario ict helps research in a magnificent manner data collection data handling analysis model development is very easy in the present scenario why because we have got yeah, the use of information and technology the use of computers so whenever we are having a very big data and it is difficult for a researcher to handle the data so he can take the help of ict he can take the help of different statistical tools different softwares and by the help of that software he can do his analysis and on the basis of analysis he can develop new models if he want if his study says that he has to develop new models so ict is also very important so for all the data handling data analysis data collection and any model development the use of ict is very important in the present scenario so when we talk about research aptitude a researcher should have a very much clear framework from where he is going to start his research work and how he is going to conclude his research work by writing his dissertation or thesis he must have a clear aptitude that what is the research ethics he has to follow ethics in each and every step he has to follow that what is wrong what is right he should not mention anything which is going to harm the society he has to use the positive notation in his research work so when a researcher has got a positive attitude towards his research work his final work is a very good for the whole society i hope you have understood this topic thank you